It's Bert Seelman. I'm here today to talk to you about women, their pregnancy, their menstrual cycle, and the future of the child. Most people don't understand that when the woman is pregnant, she's got two lives she's affecting, but actually it'll be three. It'll be the rest of the family also, and that third person can be many different people to just friends or future relatives of the, uh, of the child that's going to be born. One of the things we need to impress people with, especially moms when they get pregnant, is the eating that they do. That eating is very much done by emotional moods and different types of cravings. Well, cravings, if you listen to everything we've been saying about dietary programs, is that when you have cravings, it means that you're missing key nutrients. Certain nutrients cause all kinds of cravings, especially during the menstrual cycle when women actually crave carbohydrates, when what they really are low on is complete protein. They're going to slough the uterine wall, they're going to slough it with blood, they're going to form a new egg. Those are all complete proteins that the body is going to be lacking, so it asks for more carbohydrates so that it can conserve what type of complete protein it gets. So the big thing we want to remember here that every person has a new stomach lining every four days. You have a new layer of skin every 28 days and you're brand new every 16 months. Now add to this that you're gonna be pregnant and you're gonna have a child forming within you. Now think about the amount of nutrition and the key points that I'm about to bring up. That baby that's gonna be formed in less than two to three weeks will have a complete circulatory system and by six to eight weeks we'll be able to move around in the womb and we'll be able to grab and hold on to things at less than eight weeks old. So imagine she's gonna have that inside of her for nine months and how she eats is gonna make a huge impact. Now one of the differences that women don't understand is that they'll all take a multivitamin while they're pregnant and they gotta have a prenatal. Well understand something, the average good multivitamin has 400 micrograms of folic acid. Now, the unique thing about a prenatal, the only one nutrient that is different, only one, is folic acid, and it's 800 micrograms. So they're doubling your basic amount to 800 micrograms, which isn't even a, a whole grain of salt, and that makes the difference in spina bifida or no spina bifida. Imagine this, only 400 micrograms, less than a grain of salt, can mean the difference in your child having you know, uh, spina bifida and not. So why aren't they giving us this every day? Why aren't they telling us to have this every day? And do they tell you about minerals and that the minerals cause every cellular transference? All the women that I work with and all the women that have had children that I've worked with for years all take more minerals, everybody takes more minerals than are suggested. You're not gonna get hurt with proper nutrients. But let's talk about that craving again. That's a lack of nutrients. Now imagine you're trying to lose a little fat while you're doing this and you're one of those women who's very motivated and you're out there doing all you can and you're working out. Now, were you getting enough to begin with? And when you have your menstrual cycle, did you have a lot of pains and a lot of cramps? Because if you did, you were lacking minerals then. Most women that are having trouble with their menstrual cycle and having pain is because they lack a good multi-mineral. Go out and get now, has a, a good full spectrum mineral. Uh, Nature's Life has a great full spectrum mineral. And take twice the recommended daily amount. Take one four times a day. Watch the difference it makes if you start that three or four days before your cycle and then you have your cycle. You'll see that it changes totally. So the nutrients here have to be put into the body. We can't be eating out of emotion when you're pregnant. And remember, According to Sandra Blakesley's uh, article on a, a diet can turn genes around, look up uh, New York uh, Times, uh, diet can change uh, genes around, and it says that a mother just eating one or two nutrients can mean the difference in a child for the rest of its whole formative years all the way into adulthood. It has an impact down the road on even the types of diseases that people get. So the thing we wanna look at is let's take care of that nutrition as if we were pregnant. Let's take care of our nutrition with everyone, knowing that we're brand new every 16 months. So let's not go through this, let's not put the child through it, and let's try to think more about that. Remember, only 400 micrograms of folic acid can stop the possibilities of a disease in a fetus. What could that do for an adult who was taking that every day? The possibilities are unlimited. Go to our book, go to our website, get the information. It's for you. We're the ones that care about health. We're the ones that do the checking. When you need a reference, come and see us. Have a great day.